In 6.4, we're going to look at work. Work is just the amount of energy required to do some task. So first up, before we start doing any math, we need to review a little bit of physics that's going to be used here. So the um, first part of this video is just going to be me reading the um, definitions, more or less. Uh, force is a push or a pull on an object. And uh, the one that we're going to talk about most in uh, this section is going to be the weight of things. Primarily, we're going to look at how much energy does it take to lift something of a certain weight to a certain height. But um, force is measured in pounds or in newtons. Um, if you're dealing with metric stuff and you're given a mass in kilograms, you have to multiply that mass by the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. Let's see, so Newton's law here says that uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And this applies when force is constant. And so this is probably the most um, important, or it's one of the most important uh, laws in physics is force equals mass times acceleration. Now, we could also uh, write sort of a special case of this. Weight is equal to mass times g. That's the little g up here. And that little g there, that corresponds to uh, the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. If you go to a, a smaller planet like Mars, it's going to be less. So let's look at this down here. Work is the amount of energy required to do something. And it's measured in joules or pound feet. Now, I didn't write it on here, but one joule is equal to one newton times one meter. And we've got this, uh, this equation here, work is equal to force times distance. Now that's the equation we use when uh, the uh, work is constant. Um, if work is not constant, then instead of uh, multiplying force times distance, what we do is integrate force over distance. So this is a force function, and then dx is a tiny change in distance. So first up, let's do a couple of examples just using this. This first example, uh, non-metric, it says, suppose you lift a five-pound rock to a height of four feet. How much work do you do? Well, this is just work equals force times distance. And there's really nothing to this. The force is uh, five pounds, so that's the weight. Tell you what, I'm not going to write the units on here. So you got five pounds, and the distance is four feet. So five times four is 20 pound feet. All right. If we have a metric example like this, where it says, suppose you lift a 10 kilogram rock to a height of three meters, uh, how much work do you do? Well, work is still equal to force times distance. But in this case, the force, that's the weight of the rock. And that's equal to 10 kilograms times 9.8. So that's a 98 Newton rock. So the work is going to be 98 Newtons times, let's see, the distance was 3 meters. So that's um, 294, and the unit there is joules because we're, um, we're multiplying newtons times meters. So 294 joules. And one of the, um, one question people ask sometimes is why don't we have to multiply by an acceleration on the, the um, non-metric example? The reason is, when you're talking about pounds, you're already talking about a unit of um, a unit of force, not or or a unit of weight, not a unit of mass. There is a uh, an imperial unit of mass, but I think it's a slug, but I'm not certain. But anyway, if you're uh, already given pounds, you're already dealing with uh, force. So anyway, so those are two examples where um, the work is. Um, Work is, or I'm sorry, where the force is constant the whole time. So what I want to do in the next section, or not the next section, but the next video, I want to look at the things where the force is not constant, and we have to um, 
we have to use a, an interval to do this. Let's just uh, look at those briefly. The first one is problems involving springs. Springs, you know, if you've got a spring and you stretch it out, it's harder to stretch it the further out you stretch. So the force is going to uh, change the further you stretch it. Another thing we're going to look at after that is water pumping problems. Now, the difference in uh, pumping water is if you're trying to pump a tank dry, the stuff at the top doesn't have to go very far, but the stuff at the bottom does. So the, um, it's really the distance that changes there. But anyway, that's what we'll look at in the next, uh, next few videos.